Hey what's up YouTube, this is Stubby Compact, back with another GTA 5 glitch video. And today I'm going to be going over this off the radar at the warehouse. Um, some people are having problems with it. Um, I am, to make this clear, I am on PS5. My graphics is infidelity, but I really don't think that matters, but it might. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. Boom, it's infidelity. So now, the thing is about this glitch is I've noticed if you just go up to the door and you just hit it and then back away real quick, if it tries to suck you in super quick, then it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Um, I've noticed if you hit it and you're able to drive away for a little bit, say like four or five seconds go by and it still hasn't sucked you into the garage then go ahead and accept the Lester invite and you are gonna hit it nine out of ten times um, if you just hurry up and hit the door and back away and try to hurry up and accept the Lester invite which you do half the time you accept it before it does suck you in yes but for some reason it just always brings you directly into the facility you're not up in the clouds for two minutes so I'm gonna demonstrate that so first thing I'm going to sit here and go like this. I'm going to show you what not to do first. So go up to the door and then boom. Yeah, just accept it right now. No, don't accept it. Now see how I'm able to drive away for a few minutes or a few seconds go by. Now that was too late. But if I would have hurry up and accepted it right about then, I probably would have hit it. So we're going to go out and do this again. All right, so now that we're back outside. So like I said, if it tries to suck you in quickly, don't accept that invite because you're just going to waste your time. See, like that. Uh, yeah, I had time to accept the invite, but if I would have, it would have just been a waste of time. So you might have to do this a few times, but you're gonna save yourself a lot of traveling and a lot of headache. Then you're just going to sit in the clouds for about two minutes. Once you get out of the clouds, you will either fall through the map or you will end up in your facility. Now, like I said before, it's to me, I seem to hit it better every time I pull up to it and I back off the alert. And if it don't try to suck me in right away, I try to drive away as far as I can. I drive away a little bit. If it still hasn't sucked me in yet, that's when I accept it. And it almost works damn near every single time. Um, if you just pull up to the door and do your thing and then you try to hurry up and accept before it sucks you in nine times out of ten that's not going to work um as you've seen just took me one shot to do that um like i said when you pull up to the door you hit it like that try to back away and drive away and if it hasn't sucked you in within like i would say two three four seconds you know, then go ahead and hurry up and accept it. If it sucks you in within, you know, a second or two, then it's just a waste of your time because when you accept that Lester alert, it's just gonna bring you straight into the facility. Um, that's my experience every single time, that's what it does. So like I said, when you pull up to the door, it's the easiest way to hit it, man. Just practice a couple times, hit it, pull away. Um, if try to drive away as far as you can and um, that's how you know um, you're gonna hit it see as you've seen
Boom, first try, I hit it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and teleport out of here. Now, like I said in the last video, now that you are off the radar and you do the whole flip thing at the facility and you drive the car and you will be on black screen for about 15 minutes if you don't have a few people in the lobby to kick you out. Um, if you don't have people to kick you out of the lobby, then you're just gonna have to sit there for 15 minutes and then it's gonna go ahead and time out, kick you out of the lobby, accept the alert. And then when you spawn back in, you have your car and your facility so like I said here we are off the radar once again uh, it's pretty consistent pretty easy you can do it multiple times receive a bunch of cars in one night um, yeah so if you like what you've seen please like and subscribe and I'll be back with some more GTA 5 content